was born dead, you gave life. Woman, in the name of Jesus, be healed. When I get done with this, whatever we do, and if I ever fall out, please make sure he don't catch me. <laughs> Anybody but him. Because he, he might jack me up. Put that right in your hand. The Lord healed thee, the Lord recovered thee, and the Lord make thee whole. Jesus! But you have just been gun a step of prosperity in the name of Jesus. Jesus! is already set in motion. Thank you, Father. Mar, hold up on the picture for a moment and take that since you have fought so hard not to use a cane. I'm just talking for other folks. Uh, sir, sir, now you run around here planting your little $52 seed, huh? <laughs> But when you was walking in here, the Lord spoke to me and said, I'm going to give him an industrial miracle. And some things that are going to deal with interest and investment. And some things that are going to begin to start coming back around even physically into your system and into your body. And this is going to be your season of breakthrough. But I'm just, I don't know where these other folk are, but you ready, aren't you, baby? <laughs> Jesus! Take what you need. How you feel? Did you take a nap? <laughs> she, she said, yeah. Now, in here, what's wrong? Nothing. Huh? Nothing. I thought you said they want to operate on that. <laughs> Bend over. <laughs> Start moving oh, yeah, your yeah, neck no, around. Start moving your neck around. How does that thing come off? Take that thing off. What's going on? It doesn't hurt. It don't hurt? Can I say it one more time, an old song? I thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. I thank you, Jesus. Wow, that woman dropped her cane, came back every night without the neck brace, healed, and he was asking her, Do I, are, are you feeling any pain? No, the pain is gone. There's no need for the operation. That's happening right here. Well, listen, we've got to go. You've got to be at this revival. Call right now for your prophetic word and get here to New York City. Peace. Praise the Lord. Welcome to the Power of Prophecy. I'm your host, Master Prophet E. Bernard Jordan. We're in a revival, and it has been continuing each night. Miracles have been happening. We're going to take you over to the Company of Prophets in just a moment, but we want you to plan to be with us. Amen. Right here in New York City. I'm personally inviting you. 310 Riverside Drive. That's 103rd and Riverside Drive right here in Manhattan. Prophet Hongo has been with us, and he's, the revival is extended, and you need to call the telephone number. Also, if you want a prophetic word, the prophets and the company of prophets are prophesying to individuals. People are calling in, getting the word of the Lord for their life. Now, one thing I want to say to you, when the word of the Lord comes, you've got to get ready for change, because God is about to interrupt a cycle in your life to bring you into the kind of benefits that are ordained for your life. Have you been looking for miracles? Have you been expecting miracles from God? We're going to take you into some footage of the prophets. Amen. And what was happening here? One night we blended some anointing oil. The Holy Ghost gave me the ingredients.
to throw into the carrier oil. And we began to stir in that pot and begin to blend. We want to get some of that footage of the holy anointing oil, amen, and show where we were stirring in that pot of that oil. And I want you to stand with me with a $52 seed, a dollar for each week of the year. God told the prophet that those that sowed the $52 seed, he said out of his own mouth under his ministry, he said he, this is something that he did across the country. I never knew it. The Holy Ghost spoke to me and said to tell the people to do a $52 seed. He looked at me and was shocked and amazed. He said that people in his ministry, he says one woman said to him on occasion, says, um, I'm not going to do the $52 seed, but saints, you can do it. And she says, I'm not supposed to do this. And he says, but this is a man of God. You do the $52 seed. And said that woman in a few months slipped out and died, made her transition, because she just knew it was time for her to go. He says, because people that did a $52 seed, he says, when they came, did it in faith, they just couldn't die. But then he said there was one person that did die, but is alive today. Wow. What can that you say? Second Chronicles 20, 20 says, believe in the Lord your God, so shall you be established. Believe his prophets, so shall you prosper. The $52 seed. What did God say? For the next 52 weeks, there would be favor. It would say that God has me covered for the next 52 weeks of the year. Now, I know that a week is already gone, but it's not too late for your week to be covered. We're going to go to this announcement, amen, in just a moment. Amen. I'm going to join the company of prophets, introduce the company of prophets to you so that you can witness the miracle of God. Stay tuned and don't you go away. We're going to introduce to you members of the company of prophets. I have my lovely wife, Prophetess Deborah Jordan. She's going to greet you right now. God bless you and welcome to the Power of Prophecy. Prophet Joseph Simmons, he's going to greet you. Praise the Lord and welcome to the Power of Prophecy. Prophetess Gloria Kelly, she's going to greet you. Praise the Lord and welcome to the Power of Prophecy. And Prophet Wright, he's going to greet you. Praise the Lord and welcome to the Power of Prophecy. Amen. We are excited because we're in a revival. The Spirit of God has been moving. It has been extended. It has been extended. We've showed footage of where a woman came in from California, got the word of the Lord, got healed in her body. Amen. Another woman um, we showed on yesterday who got healed of the neck brace and an operation that was needed and is out of pain, out of pain totally because she got a miracle in her body. We had a tremendous time. Prophet Deborah, what would you say that's been going on in this meeting? Miracles upon miracles upon miracles. Amen. We have blended some oil, some holy anointing oil, which I'm asking you to send in a $52 seed. Prophet Kelly, what would you say about the holy anointing oil? You need the oil in your life. You need it in your house. You need it in your hands. It's for your breakthrough. It's for your healing. It's for your protection for 52 weeks of the year. If you add that up for seven days of the week, you need the oil. I, I would move heaven and earth to get $52 in here so I could get my oil. Amen, amen. Prophet Simmons, you've been already working we, with this oil. Yeah, we, we was using it. Um, my wife was using it. Um, he prophesied to her about a book. Mm. That means to hurry up and get published. Hold on. Now, did your wife ever talk about this book to him? She, she's, no, no. Not at all. Not at all. There was no way he could have known about Nothing. she was even working no, on a book. No. He didn't know. Just go ahead. What happened? And the book was a book, um, a children's book. And he started saying Mr. Rogers' Neighborhood and, and you know, fairy tales and book. And he said, but you got to hurry up and get it published. And she looked at me and started to get worried. She said, I don't know where the books are. And... <laughs> for a couple of hours last night, she was sitting there stressed out. I said, listen, we're going to have to do something about this because she keeps bringing it up like she's getting depressed that she can't find the book that he told her to hurry up and publish. So she took the oil, put it on her temples, left me alone. I went and did my thing. She took the holy anointing oil, the special the oil special that we oil. blended. She took the oil. She didn't tell me what she was going to do. She anointed her sides, prayed. A little bit later, she came to me and said, the whole book 
has been written over. God gave me the memory to remember the entire book in its entirety. She wrote the book, so we ain't got to worry about it now. The same book he was talking about, it called God, Can You Hear Me?